Hi, welcome to this video featuring four nourish bowls that are literally so yummy. You will love them. If you know what a nourish bowl is, you can directly skip to the first bowl. But if you don't, a nourish bowl is basically a well balanced, healthy bowl which has a bunch of nutrient dense ingredients. There's protein, carbs, fiber, healthy fats, all the good stuff. So now to the first bowl. Bowl one is a breakfast nourish bowl, and this one is super nutritious and very very delicious. So step one is to peel and chop potatoes into tiny cubes. You can keep the peels if you want, but I don't like them, so I take them off. I sliced a couple of mushrooms and then just transferred to a parchment lined baking tray along with some broccoli. I drizzled on a generous amount of olive oil and for seasoning I used salt and pepper keeping it very simple here I never measure my seasonings and just go with my gut and I suggest you to do the same so I popped these in the oven at 180 degrees celsius for 45 minutes and look at this cute little heart on this garlic it loves me back is what it's saying while that's baking I made a quick garlic paneer scramble I chopped the garlic cloves into chunks and let them char in some oil and I don't know about you but I really like to have pieces of garlic in my food especially with simple foods like this I added about a third cup of paneer and then just combined seasoned with turmeric onion powder salt kala namak and just a splash of water to help mix and that's it last part of this bowl is the bread specifically my recent obsession cream cheese toast with burnt garlic seasoning italian herbs and sesame seeds and if i'm not wrong all of these toppings combined do make the famous everything but the bagel seasoning i don't know do they just my personal opinion you simply cannot have a good big bowl of savory breakfast without a toast oh and yes i did burn the toast a little but nothing a spoon scraping couldn't fix assembly time broccoli the paneer scramble chewy baked mushrooms crispy potatoes that are so soft on the inside and the cream cheese toast this is totally optional but i love me a drizzle of sriracha on top and ready to dive in This bowl is super super easy to make and just so satisfying because there's different textures that just go so well together and i i love it Bowl number 2 is a Mexican inspired nourish bowl with a beautiful green salsa dressing. The first thing I did was make the salsa with a tomato, an onion, garlic, coriander, salt, pepper, chili powder, green chilies and lemon juice. It is super refreshing and I like to keep it in the fridge while I prepare the rest of the bowl. In some oil, I sauteed peppers. I took some sliced fresh green peppers and frozen yellow and red ones. The reason I like to use the frozen ones is because when you cook with them, they become jammy and just so succulent and just go perfectly with whatever grain you have with them. Now that these are ready, let's plate some cooked rice, the pan-fried peppers, boiled corn, boiled kidney beans, and finally the salsa dressing. I also drizzled some yogurt on top but you can use sour cream if you have. I topped with more red onions to add that crunch and this is just one of those bowls that are so good to meal prep since most of the ingredients need to be boiled. The salsa just has so much flavor to it and it comes together in like 10 minutes if you have everything ready with you. Oatmeal nourish bowl with homemade crunchy peanut butter. Yum. This might be a little controversial cuz 99.7% of the times nourish bowls are savory but I think a simple bowl of oatmeal fills all the criteria there is for a nourish bowl so I started by boiling my oats in some water and a pinch of salt and when it was boiled I added milk and vanilla essence after this oatmeal has simmered down to a thick liquid form I turn off the heat and add vanilla protein powder and that's the base ready I topped with some brownie pieces a banana and some sliced strawberries and a good tablespoon of crunchy peanut nut butter that i made it was high time i made it at home and here's how i did i took some peanuts this was about a cup or 120 grams and oh i just got this wing scale so was super excited to use it 
I transferred the peanuts to a parchment lined baking tray and baked at 180 degrees Celsius for about 10 minutes or till the peanuts are golden brown and have released oil. They literally shine. I let the peanuts cool and then just blend it in a blender until it got liquidy. You can stop here and just add some salt, some honey and eat it. I wanted to get a thicker, almost dough-like consistency. So I added sesame oil, more roasted peanuts, a pinch of salt and honey. And look at that. Crunchy. Just what I needed. I also topped my oats with cranberries and honey and some chia seeds and done. Ready to eat. Trust me, okay, the peanut butter is phenomenal. Our last bowl, a beautiful beetroot hummus pasta bowl. So first, I sliced a beetroot, half a beetroot because we are going to bake it. To keep this bowl low effort, I'm using these pre-made kebabs and also because they were going to expire in like 10 days. Now, these do look like dish soap closely, but they'll get better baked. I promise. I transferred the beetroot slices, kebabs and broccoli to a parchment lined baking tray and sprinkled some salt on them and baked for about 30 minutes. While those were baking, I made a quick salad with chopped onions, cucumber, carrots and beans, used lemon juice, salt and pepper and a little pinch of cumin as the dressing and the salad is ready. The key ingredient of this bowl, the beetroot hummus. I combined half a cup of chickpeas with four beetroot slices, sesame paste, garlic, salt, cumin, olive oil and lemon juice and a splash of water to help blend and just look. That is a stunning rose pink color and to know that we got it naturally is just amazing to me. Assembling hummus, the salad, chickpeas, broccoli, some macaroni, trust me on this one okay, the kebabs and one beetroot slice chopped up and a good sprinkle of sesame seeds. This bowl is just incredible. It's almost like a hummus pasta salad, but I kid you not, one bite of this and you'll know why I love it so much. When baked, beetroot loses its earthy flavor and becomes sweet and it just complements the hummus so well. Okay, these were all the bowls. I'll see you soon on my next video. Bye! She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about her features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down